Tonight, student loan borrowers have a new option to pay off their loans, and it could save both time and money. Gordon Severson joins us now to explain how it works and the new website that just went live. Gordon? Yeah, Julie, this new plan isn't as flashy as the student loan forgiveness plan that promised to wipe away ten or $20,000 worth of student loans. But financial counselors say for millions of Americans, the SAVE plan will be just as impactful, saving them money on their monthly payments and forgiving their loans if they keep up with those payments for a certain number of years. The Education Department launched a new beta website this week where student loan borrowers can log in and see all of their options for paying off their student loans when payments resume in October. One of those options is the new save plan. For most borrowers, they will see an overall lower payment plan than the, what they were paying before. Kim Miller with Lutheran Social Service says the SAVE plan looks at the borrower's income and family size to determine how low their required monthly payment should be. For many on the lower end, that number will be $0 a month. Miller says that means borrowers on the plan can sign up, not pay anything, and still avoid racking up interest on their student loans. Offering a lower repayment plan option is not for everybody, but it can be helpful, especially right now, for people who are just looking for a way to ease back into their repayments. Miller says the SAVE plan also has a forgiveness component to it. After several years of making payments, borrowers will have their remaining balance forgiven even if those payments are $0 a month. Miller says the application process is also more convenient than ever. Borrowers can apply in less than 10 minutes, and they don't have to reapply every year with new information because the website can now access your tax returns to see which plans and benefits you qualify for. And we are just encouraging people to... It, it's to take a look, um, you know, a lot of people have been avoiding uh, looking at their student loans for good reasons. It can seem really overwhelming, but uh, there are a lot of different op options now. But this new program comes with a cost. According to research from the University of Pennsylvania, the program could cost up to $475 billion over the next 10 years. That's a higher price tag than the $400 billion debt forgiveness plan that was rejected by the Supreme Court last month. All right. Thank you, Gordon.